Hello friends, this is Abhishek. Welcome back to the PhoneGap video tutorial. This is the third part of third party plugin of SQLite. Okay, today, uh, today we're gonna see how we can um, update the records in our existing application. Okay, so first of all, I'll uh, tell you about the existing application. This was our existing application. As soon as we click on our show record, we are fetching all the records from the database. Let's add one one more record okay Ravi second this is no mobile number and now click on add record okay the information is added successfully to fetch record we have to click on show record okay it's two records out there okay now what we want to do we want to add a column over here that should be a edit button there should be a edit button right as soon as we click on edit button the all records all the information on this row should be added to this form okay and the grid should be high grid and the button should be high and the add button should be get converted into the update button okay for that the code is already uh, written okay and one more thing you can find all this code uh, on uh, github.com slash info like info log okay I have uploaded all the examples over there okay uh, just go there and you can download all the examples over here right just find inside the repository how to use a third party plugin okay so take a look inside the ww folder okay these are the example type okay this is the first second third and this is the last one okay you can download it from here okay and uh, if you want to update this code you can also fork me on info log right on my page okay inside the edit button but before uh, as soon as I click on show record button I have to add a button edit okay that's why I'll open a show submit value sorry so insert function I have to see the show value function okay here if you notice I have added this extra line okay and uh, also added the th for the header so it will take appropriate rows and columns so as soon as we click on a particular edit button okay we are passing the reference of that button to calling function and the function is declared over here okay we got the button reference and by using the button reference we are finding all the inner HTML CDs and the values of CD okay in our variables first name last name pin code and mobile number and just again we are assigning it to the back to our form and last we are hiding all the details which are not required while updating right so and what if you notice I have written a comment over here all DB names are case sensitive okay while uh, creating this example I faced a simple problem okay what was the problem okay here I have created a database with the name first name all are the small cases okay but while accessing the values I have typed like this first name okay so it will get an undefined value that's why I have write written that the uh, column name is a case sensitive well okay so you have to manage that now I'm gonna deploy this application inside a simulator so just fire a command Cordova run Android will load our application inside the simulator okay first of all I'll click on a uh, show record so I'll get a edit button and as soon as I click on edit button all the details get hidden and loaded into the form so here I'll update the last name I put testing and I clicked on update button okay as soon as I click on update click on show record the value is updated okay but what should be there okay first of all I forgot to show you one more code okay so while clicking on update button okay what we are doing 
inside the submit values we are finding the text what is the value of the button if the value is update then we are firing an update query and if the button title is add then we are going to insert a value okay that's how both values going to work okay i forgot to remove this after adding or updating okay it will load it over here right guys okay if you have any other questions or if you want to know uh, some more details about how we can manage the SQLite plugins how we can upgrade the DB you can find all the videos on my channel okay don't forget to subscribe this channel for the latest videos and tutorial till then don't forget to watch and uh, keep practicing thanks for watching bye bye and I just want to tell you about my uh, video sponsors, DevMountain.com. Uh, just because of them, I'm recording this video tutorial for you guys. Actually, they are running a coding bootcamp and they provided a different kind of courses like a web development, <coughs> web development, iOS development, and UX design for the full time and after hours. Okay, uh, the main important point they'll teach you everything that you need to take a job in this field okay so uh, i would like to request to just check out their website dermartin.com and uh, i have already put uh, put down the links inside the description box below and uh, one more thing if you do contact with them just tell them my reference okay uh, till then keep learning bye bye